Tim here. In 21.4, one of the headline features was the ability to send notifications to Slack from Ask Data. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how that works. Now I'm actually logged into two profiles here. I'm logged in as the user who's going to receive the notification in Slack, that's this particular profile. And over here, I'm logged in as an admin, someone who can send notifications to everyone on Slack. So I'm basically going to do this here. The reason I've got this set up is because I've got a beta instance of Tableau Online, so I can only really test using those two people. Nevertheless, if you head to Ask Data, in this particular case, I'm gonna to go to the Explore tab, and I'm going to look for an Ask Data lens. In a previous release, they changed the behavior of Ask Data so that it requires a lens in order to create an Ask Data question. And so I've actually got one here set up for 21.4, which I've called 21.4 Lens. Now, once we're here, we can actually go ahead and type the question we want to answer. In this particular case, I'm just gonna type busiest day in 2018. Now, what you'll see here is that Tableau passes this question. So it says count of orders by order date day, order date in 2018. So if we go ahead and hit enter for that, um, that should hopefully give us a chart in response. It might get this slightly wrong, but you can see here that it's given us an order date for 2018 and we can get the answer right here and say, look, it's September the 8th, uh, 2018, and there's 27 orders on that particular day. Now, once we're here and we've got this, let's say we want to share this with a colleague to Slack. Um, it's actually gonna send it to multiple places, so email notifications in Tableau and Slack as well, if you've enabled the notifications. Um, but if I go to the top right here and I hit share, you'll see that you get this ability to share a message. I'll just go ahead and type in my name. You'll see I have multiple profiles here. So I'll send it to this particular user because this is the user I actually have set up on Slack. And I'll just say, hey, uh, check this out. You might be interested to know we had 27 orders on the 27th of no we had on this thing was the 8th of september actually it's september i can't type apologies for any typos uh, that's in there but let's go ahead and hit share and once we hit share you'll see that that goes off and now what we should do is we should get a notification in Slack. Now I know I've got the notification because my watch just pinged me. So if I head over to Slack, let's just open that up. You'll see that over here, I have this uh, notification here from 9.06 p.m. And it tells me that, look, hey, check this out. You might be interested to know we had 27 orders on the 8th of September. When I go ahead and click on this link, it actually opens up. And the reason I'm logged in as my other users, when I click on that link, I need to be logged in as that user to see the notification. So here it is. This is the Ask Data view that was built by the other user. And now I can go and see it and I can actually carry on asking my own questions. So I can actually carry on the analysis that someone else started if they share that with me. Now that notification comes to me via email and from Tableau itself. If I hop out of this um, from this particular user, let's just actually go back to the homepage and let's just completely reset everything. If I go to the notifications here, you'll see that that same notification is also here at the top. So if I go ahead and click on that, that also takes me back to that notification. And it actually has an ID number that then disappears. I don't know if anyone saw that up here in the uh, in the URL. Uh, if you if you didn't notice that, I'll put it up on screen in slow motion so you can see it. But nonetheless, it actually has an ID that's hidden and then gets removed, so you can't actually um, figure out where it is. I think that's um, maybe a deliberate thing, so these don't sort of spawn a life of their own and just keep getting shared around. Uh, but nonetheless, this is pretty cool. This is a new feature in 21.4, and I just wanted to show you how it works. Check out more of the videos I've done on 21.4, and um, there's a whole bunch of them out there to see. But if um, they don't quite work for you, let me know what you'd like to see instead in the comments below, and I'll try and make a video of that kind at uh, some point in the future. Check out the description for links on various other things related to the video as well. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Your viewership is much appreciated.